Hey, Frozzy Gang, guess what? What? That's right, you've guessed it. It's the Frozen Tent's first birthday. This little project has taken us all over Western Australia. We started by blogging our trips on Instagram. We even got a cool logo made. A tented clothing brand. And started a YouTube channel. Well, obviously. So we've gone back to where it all began. <laughs> Carmel Cider. <laughs> but this time we brought some friends along. Hey. Hello. Alright, who liked that cheesy intro? I know you did. I had fun making it. So, welcome back to another episode of Frozen Tents, guys. It's our first birthday. Um, we started about a year ago, and so we've come back to where it all began, Carmel Cider. Um, this cider farm isn't too far away from Perth, it's just a 25 minute drive. Uh, so it's good for that quick and easy getaway that some people um, often need and want. So, <clears throat> we're here today, we've got a few friends um, on their way. Um, today we've got two friends, Jules and Julie, who you'll meet later, um, who are both French and uh, really cool people. And then tomorrow we've got Mark, my mate Mark, and his partner Chantel, and also Ollie on their way. So <coughs> we'll have them tomorrow, so, which will be really cool. Um, while we're here guys, we're going to do a bit of cooking. We're just going to cook the platter that you guys might have seen a few episodes ago but also do a cheesy um, a cheesy sausage melt kind of thing I don't really know what to call it but you'll see you'll see that tomorrow if you can see these trees behind me that's actually all apple trees and pear trees and what you can do is um, actually go and pick an apple straight off the tree I'll do it now <clears throat> straight off the tree and you can eat it hmm. and that's pretty good I gotta tell you anyway stay tuned guys mm. budgie where little birdie bird Guys, I just want to demonstrate to you uh, um, what we're going to be cooking with while we're out camping um, this time around. We haven't had the chance to really use it properly yet because we've been a bit late to the party and for fire season, but we're going to get to use it today. And I've used it in the past. Um, they're really, really good. It's called the Hillbilly Fire Stand. And I reckon anyone that likes going camping and cooking fire should have one because they're hugely versatile. They come with um, a few different components that you can get get with them like for example um, there's this ring and these components just swing in and out of the fireplace so this ring is normally used for a bun steel pot it's made for it and that sits in there but we use this ring for things like um, <coughs> hanging the billy on if you want to boil water or you know heat something up soup or whatever use it for that uh, we also use the ring for our pots and pans. Luckily, it just like fits perfectly. That fits on there like that. And when you're not, not cooking anymore, you just swing it out. Beautiful. And also our, our wok fits in there perfectly as well, which is wicked. It swings out. And something... Um, my dad welded welded up for me. We've used an old Weber plate, uh, grill plate, and um, onto these two arms that actually come with the Hillbilly fire stand. So we're going to be using that and cooking on it, and that just swings in and out as well. I haven't started cooking yet. I just finished setting it up, but you'll see a bit more of a de demonstration of how we're cooking with it. Um, maybe tonight, 
tomorrow morning and tomorrow for lunch time as well. But these are awesome. I got this one from um, Go Camping in Malaga or Balcada, I think it is. Go Camping in Balcada. Um, <clears throat> they get sold really, really quick. So if you see one in there, make sure you get it because it won't be in there for very long. Yeah, guys, yeah, we'll, we'll show you how it goes a bit later anyway. Uh, I'll send the drone up now so you can um, have a look where we are. Hey guys, when you come camping here, you can get a big growler of cider. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, I reckon if me and Fiona got one, should always be like, cuddles. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe that's, what, maybe that's why you wanted to keep yeah. it, and Julie's like, no. <laughs> you would be like that. Probably, yeah. That's why we get the three person one so the dog can be in the Can you know me? <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 60. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to say 30 bucks a day. No, it's 60. 60 bucks, the big oh, one. Okay, and so you are more. having half price then. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it depends on the machine as well. Yeah. And basically, you get Garrett, which is this kind of machine, which is the Amer American brand, and you get Mind Lab, the Australian ah. brand. Ah, yeah. yeah Mind Lab yeah. is the. That's the renowned, the you know? Ah, no, 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 no that's the, the best, best kind you can, no, yeah, that's the best shit you can find. Like, oh. it's been designed by guys here in ah, Western yeah. Australia. Yeah, yeah. And they know oh, their yeah. shit. I've seen videos, fucking hell. They find like nuggets like that deep no. in like bush soil, you know, which is basically just iron. Is that stuff that you found? Yeah, that's my just name. random stuff. Oh, okay, yeah. I can show you like that's where the. Oh, I think that's a uh, that's a shell. So guys, we brought the metal detector out today. Obviously. When you're going camping, um, people littering is a big problem and lots of shit. Lots of shit. Not even the stuff that you can see on the surface, there's stuff underneath as well. Can we get out some of your rubbish that you Oh found? yeah, sure. So that's basically the rubbish that stays there forever. Alright, so what have we got? First yeah. pinch. So yeah, have a look through that. If you, if you see here, there's stuff under the ground as well. You've got to make sure that you uh, throw your bottom, bottle caps out, your cans, you know, everything. It doesn't matter how small it is. We, we don't want to be littering our earth. That comes mainly from parks. Yeah. Look, you know what that is? It comes from a toothpaste tube. Oh, <laughs> yeah. really? Yeah. So there's this that he's found as well that came from a toothpaste tube. I don't know if that's... Focusing an old version like old ones. They used to be like that uh, What have we got else? Uh, Coca-cola caps. Oh, that's uh, an old one. Yeah, that's an old one. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, it stays there You know as soon as mm. it's buried uh, Unfortunately, that's just the main rubbish I got. Yeah That's all right Moral of the story is guys make sure you throw everything away that you can because when you finish, finish with it as well because you might kick a leaf over or something and then you lose it. So as soon as you're done with it, just put it in the rut, in the bin and then no one else has to worry about it and our earth doesn't have to worry about it either. Yeah, that's good for everyone. 
<laughs> All right, guys, uh, we're going to see you tomorrow morning. We're just going to catch up with our friends now. Nothing more to film here. See you in the morning. We've got some shakshuki coming, and then we've got our other friends coming as well, and we're going to be doing a bit of a feast for lunch. So we'll see you then. See you guys. Good morning, everyone. We've just woken up from our first night, and last night was freezing. I swear to God, it was about maybe two degrees, maybe one degree. It was cold. Um, but actually that's because it's winter and winter's the best time to go camping because you get to have a fire in summer. You don't get to have a fire so it's kind of that um, yin yang situation I suppose. Um, so now we're just going to get up, uh, make some shakshuka on the fire. Um, later on today we've got a few more friends coming and the bar is open today here as well because we are at a cider brewery. So we'll probably go try some ciders um, and see where that takes us. So we finished up with breakfast a little while ago and our other friends have arrived. Mark, Chantel, Shane and Olivia. And so we've just been chilling around the fire and we're just going to go for a little walk up to the cider brewery now. Hello. It was a little bit after this point I realized that my microphone had run out of battery. But what I'm saying here is that I met Andrew, he's a really nice dude and this is the guy who owns the property and does all the brewing of the cider. The cider was delicious and now we're on our way back to camp to cook up another feast. Stay tuned for this one guys because this was quite the feast and it was really delicious. So I hope you enjoy.
Good morning, Frozzy gang. We're at day three of our camping trip. It's pissing down of rain today, and honestly, I think this is the main reason why most people didn't come to our first birthday. But I'm absolutely loving it. The rain brings some fresh air. Uh, this is probably going to be our goodbye, see ya, ending part of our video. But thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.